Hoden, Dean of the College of Education. The Hooding ceremony for doctoral graduates is a long and cherished tradition in our college. We take this moment to reflect on the incredible accomplishments of scholars during their time at Michigan State University and to celebrate the new and challenging responsibilities they will soon take on. We wish we could be honoring our new PhD recipients in person this spring. Although the COVID-19 pandemic continues to pose challenges, we hope that you and your loved ones are staying healthy and safe and that you will enjoy this commemorative video to honor your achievements. The College of Education takes pride in its graduates and we hope that you will take pride in the quality of the highly ranked programs you are completing. The college is widely respected because of the faculty, staff, students, and alumni who represent it so well around the world. As doctoral students, you have been key contributors to the missions of our college, and more importantly, you are the ones who will carry this work into the future. The pandemic has made apparent the challenges you will face and the ways you will overcome them are difficult to predict. I'm proud of what you have already accomplished and feel confident that the future is in good hands. Thank you for all you have done for our college community and the ways you will go on to help your own schools, colleges, and communities in powerful ways. Thank you and go green. Let us now recognize candidates in the Department of Counseling, Educational Psychology, and Special Education, chaired by Dr. Carrie Roseth. First, we honor those graduating from the PhD program in Educational Psychology and Educational Technology. K. Brett Stott Willett. Brett came to MSU through the Serious Games Certificate and stayed to complete the Master of Arts in Educational Technology. He then started the EPET PhD program, where his teaching feedback, service record, and success in academic publishing has been impressive. He begins as a tenure-track assistant professor in Instructional Systems and Learning Technologies at Florida State University this fall. Brett is grateful for the unwavering support of his family during these past five years. He would also like to thank his co-advisors, Matthew Kaler and Christine Greenhow, for their wisdom and guidance, and for Paul for never letting him down. Paul Reimer. Paul came to MSU with extensive experience as a mathematics teacher and instructional coach. Early in his doctoral study, Paul shifted his focus to early childhood teachers at the Ames Center for Math and Science Education, a nonprofit dedicated to improving STEAM education. Paul's work on a project to deepen Head Start teachers' knowledge about children's mathematics and explore ways to support children's mathematical development led to his dissertation research, an insightful exploration of the tensions and interplay between early childhood teachers' attempts to support students' mathematical learning through instruction and play. Paul plans to continue his work with the Ames Center. He would like to thank his wife, Candy, for her constant support, his children for believing in him every step of the way, his advisor, Ralph, for thoughtful guidance and direction, and his good friend and colleague, Brett, for sharing the joys and struggles of the last five years. Catherine M. Rich. Katie came to MSU with extensive experience in developing mathematics curriculum materials and supporting elementary teachers' use of those materials. With her co-advisor, Aman Yadov, one strand of her work focused on educating elementary teachers to integrate computational thinking within math and science instruction as a part of the NSF-funded CT4EDU project. In her dissertation, she engaged her dual interests in mathematics education and technology. She worked closely with six elementary teachers as they explored the promise of virtual manipulative materials for teaching challenging topics related to fractions. After she defends her dissertation this summer, she will become a senior researcher at the American Institutes of Research in Chicago. She would like to thank her dissertation director, Dr. Jack Smith, members of her committee, her parents, Joan and Joe Rich, 
her sister, Lori Rich, her virtual office mates, Sukanya and Phil, and all her friends in the ePet community. Swati Meta. Over the last six years, Swati has developed a deep passion for her work on creating inclusivity, equity, and visibility of women and people of color in computer science. Her dissertation work at the intersection of race, gender, culture, and technology will inform how we broaden participation in computing at the undergraduate level. In her research, she is examining how computer science faculty can adapt a gender-inclusive, culturally responsive computing approach in their courses. During her time at MSU, Swati has developed as a scholar and a teacher and has pushed our thinking on issues of equity, diversity, and inclusivity in computer science education. She would like to acknowledge her husband, an EPET PhD graduate, her advisor, and her sons for supporting her during the PhD journey. Now we recognize the candidates from the PhD program in Rehabilitation Counselor Education. Roseanne Renauer. Roseanne is a seasoned and impactful leader of the disability community in Michigan. After a 30 plus year career with the State Vocational Rehabilitation Agency, she remains dedicated to leadership, mentoring, and the pursuit of systems change through effective collaboration and full inclusion. Roseanne led the statewide transition initiative for students with disabilities, among other systems change efforts, and managed the agency's resource and program development work, emphasizing policy, community partnerships, technology, customer services, and staff development. She had a remarkable career before entering our program and performed exceptionally well during her doctoral studies. She has an unquenchable thirst for learning and has highly impacted our program and her colleagues with her incredible insight and kindness. Roseanne would like to thank her daughter, Chelsea, her advisor, Dr. Michael Leahy, and the faculty and colleagues in her program. Next here are the candidates from the EDS program in school psychology. Katie Grennan. With her exceptional interpersonal skills, commitment to youth who have been minoritized, and strong collaboration skills, Katie will be an exceptional school psychologist. Katie completed her internship with Branch Intermediate School District. When she reflects on her graduate school experience, she is proudest of successfully completing her internship during COVID-19 and fostering relationships with staff, students, and their families. Her fiancé, Aaron, her parents, Nancy and Jack, and her aunt, Liz, are celebrating with her. She would like to thank her friends, family, and cohort for their love and support during graduate school. Next year, she'll be working with Ionia County ISD at the birth to three and elementary levels. She is most excited about working with the Ionia County Early On team and learning a new role working with babies and their families. Sarah Musson. Sarah will excel as a school psychologist because of her excellent problem-solving skills, natural curiosity, and her warmth and empathy. While on internship with Branch Intermediate School District, she is most proud of her work providing social skills interventions and coordinating phonemic awareness interventions. She is celebrating this honor with her parents and fiance. She would like to thank her advisor, the school psychology faculty, her family, her cohort, and her fiance for their support and guidance over the last three years. Next year, she will continue working with Branch ISD at the pre-K to 12 level. She is excited about building on the initiatives that started this year. Kate Numbers. With her exceptional critical thinking, kind heart, and passion for service, Kate will be an outstanding school psychologist. She completed her sought-after internship with the Heartland Area Education Agency in Iowa. Through her training, she's most proud of learning how a non-categorical system of special education eligibility works in practice. 
She thanks her MSU professors for introducing the concept and inspiring her Iowan adventure. She thanks her parents, Leanne and Terry, for their support, patience, and push to always keep learning. She also thanks her cohort mates, Katie and Sarah, who helped her maintain sanity during grad school. Finally, she thanks her school psychology professors for their wisdom and guidance. Next year, she'll remain in Iowa at Heartland, continuing to learn about non-categorical eligibility and shepherding systems change efforts to completion. She looks forward to returning to Michigan and working with her school psychology colleagues. Let us now recognize candidates in the Department of Kinesiology, chaired by Dr. Alan Smith. Here are the candidates from the PhD program in kinesiology. Morgan Anderson. Morgan has been an incredible teacher and productive researcher and has provided service to the East Lansing community. In her short time at MSU, Morgan taught three upper level courses, both online and face to face. She applies a strong initiative and work ethic to her research. In fact, she has earned almost $25,000 in funding for research fellowships and practicums, 12 publications, two book chapters, and almost 50 conference presentations. Morgan also has a strong line of research that focuses on sleep and anxiety in college-age adults at baseline and post-concussion. She has completed all these tasks with the highest integrity, maturity, and moral principles. She would like to thank her family, her advisor and mentor, Dr. Tracy Kovacin, her committee members, and friends and fellow Air Labs lab mates, Jill Kochenek. Jill is a model of MSU's land-grant mission, embodied across scholarship, teaching, and service to the community. She represents a unique integration of teacher-scholar-practitioner in the fields of sports psychology and sport coaching. Informed by her research interests on social justice, equity, and diversity in sport, she is a passionate advocate for inclusive sport environments. While she has already demonstrated significant scholarly promise with numerous first author publications, her research to practice translational activities truly exemplify Jill's ethos and her impact on the world. These qualities will be on display as she begins her faculty career at Springfield College, directing their master's program in athletic leadership. She would like to thank her advisor, Carl Erickson, and faculty members, Andy Driska and Dan Gold, for their support and wisdom, research hub members at the Institute for the Study of Youth Sports, and her family. Thomas B. Berkmeyer. Tom came back to his home state of Michigan after several years away working as an athletic trainer. He brought his clinical experience and willingness to work hard with him. During his time at MSU, Tom obtained external funding from regional and national foundations, published nine peer-reviewed manuscripts in top journals, and presented at numerous conferences with national and international audiences. More importantly, Tom's work and his sense of empathy has brought positivity to the lives of the patients in the labs, the students he has mentored, and his peers. Tom will be starting a Department of Defense-funded postdoctoral fellowship at the University of North Carolina. He would like to thank Chris Coons, Tracy Kovacin, Shelby Baez, Rajiv Ranganathan, Andrew Shorfhar, Caroline Lissy, and his family and friends, especially his parents and grandparents. Ashley Nicole Triplett. Ashley is a triple Spartan who embodies the passion, commitment, and work ethic that make MSU the special place that it is. Ashley joined Dr. Chris Coons's lab a little later than expected, but quickly made up for every second that she had delayed and more. Whether it was applying her expertise and skill as an exercise physiologist to help young patients make a return to sports after knee surgery, 
guiding undergraduate and graduate students through some of the toughest courses, or making sure the department's softball team was ready to take the field, Ashley always found a way to bring joy and a sense of humor to her work. Ashley would like to thank her family, friends, air lab mates, her advisor, and her committee. Sung Min Lee Sung holds an MS in Sports Science from Seoul National University, an MS in Kinesiology from Michigan State University, and now a PhD in Kinesiology from MSU. Sung's award-winning research has been funded by the North American Society for the Psychology of Sport and Physical Activity. Sung has authored or co-authored nearly two dozen papers on high-impact journals. He leaves the MSU College of Education with quite a legacy of scholarship and collegiality, and his advisor, Dr. Nicholas Myers, is certain that the best is yet to come for him professionally and personally. Sung would like to thank his wife, Mara Choi, his parents, advisor, and committee members. Sung and Mara will forever be part of the family that is the Department of Kinesiology at MSU. William Burkhart Bill entered the doctoral program after completing his undergraduate and master's degrees in kinesiology at MSU. He has gained a variety of experiences during his time at MSU, including completing the certificate in college teaching. His research centers around sport data science, and his dissertation topic relates to modeling the relationship between workload and injuries in college football players. Bill has done the Herculean task of completing a PhD in three years while working full-time as a strength and conditioning coach in the athletic department and adding two children to his family to make three total. He will continue his work in sports science and plans to continue collaboration with kinesiology faculty. He would like to thank his wife, Elena Burkhart, advisor Karen Pfeiffer, committee members Chris Coons and David Ferguson, Mark D'Antonio, and the MSU Athletic Medicine staff and football players. Emily Werner. Emily brought an important and unique perspective to the Kinesiology PhD program. She is trained in exercise physiology, but also nutrition and dietetics, and is a registered dietitian. Her insights on nutritional aspects of working with various exercising populations have added significantly to the department's research productivity. Emily has been an integral part and solid citizen of the PhD student group and has done outstanding work helping younger students perform their own research activities. She has accepted a position as team dietitian for the Philadelphia 76ers of the NBA. She would like to thank her parents, Carl and Sharon Werner, her advisor, Dr. Jim Pavarnik, and his wife, Linda, her siblings, Charlie, Amy, Molly, and Lynn, and her previous advisors and friends that have supported her through this journey. Madison C. Chandler. Madison is interested in understanding how health-oriented behaviors and related attributes modulate neural processes related to scholastic achievement. She served as the lead doctoral student on a multi-site project with Google X, where she demonstrated an ability to integrate competing perspectives while examining the utility of combining psychophysiological measures and machine learning. She adjusted her dissertation in response to the pandemic by leveraging a collaboration she had developed with another laboratory to utilize existing data sets to provide novel insights into the relationships between fine motor skills, writing, and high-level cognitive operations. Madison has published seven peer-reviewed journal articles, with four as first author, and three additional first author manuscripts in review. She has accepted a position as a postdoctoral researcher at the Matthew Gefeller Sport-Related Traumatic Brain Injury Research Center at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. She would like to thank her doctoral committee, the members of the Health Behaviors and Cognition Lab, 
and her family. Emily Marie Wright. Emily's research focuses on understanding how the youth sport experience influences families, with the goal of helping families enjoy the youth sport experience and maximize the benefits of participation for all parties. She is an excellent and highly productive researcher, publishing numerous articles and making presentations during her time at MSU. Emily has also been an exceptional doctoral student, fulfilling her duties as a research assistant in the Institute for the Study of Youth Sports and a teaching assistant in the Department of Kinesiology. She received the All University Excellence in Teaching citation, showing that Emily is distinguished not only as a researcher, but as a teacher. She will become an assistant professor in the Department of Exercise and Sports Sciences at St. Benedict and St. John's University in Minnesota. She would like to thank her advisors, her family for all their support, and her fiancé, Zach. Wow, I am always so impressed by the accomplishments of our graduate students. As we have continued to experience the effects of a global pandemic, your contributions as scholars, teachers, and community members have been especially outstanding. I'm Christine Bowman, Associate Dean for Academic and Student Affairs in the College of Education. Congratulations on earning your doctoral degree, the highest achievement in your educational journey from the College of Education at MSU. We honor your commitments to expanding knowledge, to improving teaching and learning, and to transforming policy and practice in ways that promote health, equity, well being, and justice. We can't wait to see how you will continue making an impact during the next chapters in your careers. But first, we pause once more to thank those who have supported you along the way. First, we thank and recognize your faculty members. These individuals have encouraged and guided you through important challenges. We also thank your family and friends, and as well as your colleagues who have cheered you on and made countless sacrifices leading up to this point. Now you're a part of the Spartan alumni family. We hope that you will stay connected to the College of Education as you carry forth in your professional careers and represent us so well throughout the world. Thank you and congratulations. Go Green. <laughs>